this edition of NFC Tags 101 How To Videos. I'm going to show you how to create a uh, NFC tag to toggle your settings for when you go to bed at night and when you wake up in the morning. So let's uh, turn on my phone. For this I'm going to use the app NFC Smart Q. Um, let's clear out anything that was, this is an old tag I was making, so I'm going to clear that out. You can see how many bytes you need for any tag you're creating right now. We're on zero. So let's click add, and this is going to be for when we go to bed at night. So what I want to do when I go to bed at night, sound and volume, mainly I want to change that. Now you could also change your uh, sound type. So if you wanted to switch it to silent or vibrate mode or normal, you can do that. I'm going to cancel that because I don't want to change the, the mode. I just want to change the volume. You can also switch out the ringtone and the notification tone. So if you wanted to use a different ringtone for at night uh, when you're in bed, you could do that. So I'm going to set the ring volume really low to 1. And then I'm going to go back, control settings, sound and volume, notification volume. That's going to be 0. And I'm going to go to control settings, sound and volume, media volume, that's going to be zero. So I don't want to be bothered at night unless someone calls me, but I want that to be low. So then we're going to, let's see, what else would you want to do when you go to bed at night? Um, you might want to set an alarm. If you see here, you have an alarm. And so you can set the alarm volume. Um, I'm going to assume, depends on what kind of alarm you have, but like on my phone, I set that independently in the alarm, so the alarm will change the volume. But uh, you can set it to uh, uh, set uh, an alarm automatically for you. So, uh, you know, if you get up every morning in the week and you wanted to set this for 7, 10 a.m. every morning, you could do that. And you can set that uh, up, and so when you tapped it, it would always set the alarm for 710. I'm not going to do that because uh, I want to use this on the weekends too, and I don't get up at the same time on the weekends. So instead, I'm going to click Add and click Launch Apps, and then select Application. And it's going to take a second just to populate the uh, application list for us to choose from. And I'm going to select Alarm Clock Extreme because that's the Alarm Clock app that I use. And so it'll it'll open that. Let's see, is there anything else that we need to add? I don't think there's anything else I'd want to add when I go to bed at night. Um, obviously, if there was, you could add it. So I'm going to make this a my tag. My tag name. I'm going to call that. Good night. All right, so that's good night. I'm going to click OK. And you'll see it went away because I'm creating two tags, a good night tag and a good morning tag. So now let's create the good morning tag. In the mornings, control settings. Well, in the mornings when I wake up, I want to make sure my sound... Uh, is on normal. Eh, I don't put it on vibrate at night, so I don't think I need to worry about that. But let's make sure the sound and volume levels are right. Ring volume. We're going to raise that back up all the way. So you see, it's at 7. Control settings, sound and volume, notification volume. I want that up all the way too. So you have that set to 7. And then control settings, sound and volume, media volume. That one, I don't want all the way up. Um, probably a little over midway up. So I'll set it at that, which is 9. And then what else do you want to do in the mornings? Uh, I want to make sure my screen brightness is set right. And I realize I didn't do this on my night one, so I'll have to go back and edit that in a minute. But on screen brightness, let's see. Let's go all the way. I want it set all the way bright. So, okay. And then uh, let's add one more thing. Let's add launch apps, select application. I'm going to let that populate for a minute. 
And then I'm going to add the Amazon um, App Store, which I think is just called App Store. Because that way every morning when I wake up, I can check and see what the Amazon free app of the day is. So I'll click OK. And uh, we're going to create a my tag for that one. And for this one, we'll call this good morning. Okay. Now if we go under the tab right here that says my tag, I'm going to click that. And you'll see, good morning, good night. I'm going to tap on good night. And let's... Do you want to modify? Yes. So here you have it modified. So we can add something to it. Let's add. And then control settings, screen, brightness. We want it to be really low at night. We don't want it to be very bright because... If you wake up in the middle of the night and look at your phone, you don't want to wake up your spouse. So click OK. And then my tag. And that's good night. And click OK. And there you go. You can see the brightness level is set there now too. You can see how many bytes of data this is going to take. This one takes 72. And the good morning is 70. So that's 142. Um, probably going to be too much if you have all of this. 142 bytes will be a little high for certain types of tags. Um, and there are different apps that work differently. Um, this app stores this information directly on the tag. You could use a tag with less memory, um, but use a different type of app that uh, uh, just triggers things. For example, if you're familiar with Tasker, which is a little bit of an advanced app, but is great because you record very little information on a tag. All the information, you're just triggering uh, a task with the tag, and then Tasker handles all the other stuff. So you could use any size tag. But for this particular thing, you're going to need that much memory about 142 bytes. So we're going to go over to new tag and we're going to create a switch tag. So we're going to select switch and then select tag 1 as good night and select tag 2 as good morning. So a switch tag is a toggle tag. It means each time you tap it, it does toggles back and forth between these two things. So uh, we're going to record this. I'm going to use a uh, MyFair Classic compatible tag for this. Uh, if most phones are compatible with MyFair Classic, but if you have a Galaxy S4, or Nexus 4, it's not compatible for this particular list because it needs at least 140 bytes. You'd want to use the Topaz 512 tag, which has plenty of memory and is universally compatible. Um, but like I said, you could also use a smaller tag and use a different uh, way of doing it without needing so much memory. So I'm going to click the right button and it's going to tell me to tap the tag against uh, the back of the phone. You can make it read only, but if you do that, you could never ever erase it or use it for any other purpose ever again. So I never do that. Uh, that's mainly for like a tag that you're going to put up in a public place. So we're going to take this tag, we're going to lay it down here and tap the phone to the back. See tag reading success, tag writing success. So that has been written. So, you're going to see, let's look at, uh, real quick, look at my volume levels, just so you can kind of see where they're at. And then, uh, you can see my brightness is at auto right now. So, we're going to tap this the first time. And you'll see, it opened up my alarm clock app, so I could click the alarm I wanted to use. And if you look at my volume settings, you'll also see it lowered media notification, it lowered ringer, and uh, you'll also see my brightness auto is switched off and the brightness is lowered all the way. So now when I get up in the mornings, if I tap this tag again, then you'll see it's opening up the Amazon App Store so I can check the free app of the day. And it also raised my ringer notification volume all the way, my media volume to where I had that set at in the middle. 
and also raised the brightness on my phone all the way up. So that is the uh, one way you can set up a uh, very simple tag to toggle your settings when you go to bed at night and when you wake up in the morning using uh, the app NFC Smart Q and using Andy Tags NFC Tags which you can pick up yourself on andytags.com.